Yo guys, what's up? John is here, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about what to do when the PlayStation 5 displays the error too many USB devices connected, and sometimes the controller won't charge. Now, in the background, you will not see a PlayStation 5 uh, video like I usually do for the PlayStation 4 because I don't own it and I don't make enough to buy myself a PlayStation 5, all the money goes to rent, so if you want to support me, there's a link down below, if only a few of you help me out with one or two dollars, it will be more than enough to get myself a system and continue uploading tutorial videos on the PlayStation 5 that you might need later on, and if not, a like and subscribe will always be appreciated. But first of all, we're gonna talk about the problem if it comes from the USB cable. If the USB cable is faulty, what you can try to do first of all is to unplug it and unplug too many devices if you have too many devices sometimes it's the case the PlayStation is not lying unplug a few devices and try to see if it works with this one especially if you have a power surge problem I'm gonna talk about that just a little bit later in the video but try to keep only one device is connected and see if the problem persists if it does unplug all the cables turn off the system unplug the power cord from a PlayStation 5 let it rest for like 10 minutes Plug it back in and then retry connecting your cable to see if the problem is fixed this way. If not, go ahead and buy yourself a new cable. This is a costly method, but it might be the problem. And the USB cable that you got with your initial PlayStation 5 box might be faulty and it, ha it could happen. It doesn't mean that the cable is perfect and has to work all the time. Now, before I tell you to reset your console, there's a thing that could uh, cause this error. And it's pretty simple, if you have too many devices connected on a surge protector, and the surge protector, if you don't know what it is, it's what is displayed actually on the screen. If you have like, for example, too many monitors, a PlayStation 4, a PC, a PS5, you have all those devices that are connected to a surge protector, or if you're having some power surge problems, uh, you might, this might cause the error on the PlayStation 5, which is not getting delivered enough power to charge the devices. And in conclusion, it's going to tell you that too many devices is connected, while it might not be the case. And honestly, it's a problem from the search protector. So make sure the search protector that you are using is capable of handling the amount of devices and the watts are enough to handle all the devices that you are connected to and that you do not have problems with your power outlet or um, anything that is the or the power in general that is uh, delivered to your playstation 5 this way it doesn't display this message now finally if this problem appeared like recently and not from the beginning of uh, not from the beginning when you bought the playstation 5 you might want to try to reset your playstation 5's default settings or even reset the playstation 5 controller by uh, by uh, pressing the reset button, the small hole on the PlayStation 5 controller. If you use a toothpick or anything, just to reset the controller and uh, try to see if this will fix your error. If not, the, there might be a system with a problem with your system with the PlayStation 5, and you will need to get it repaired. But usually, one of the the previous methods will help you fix your problem. If not, uh, I'll try to find some new ways and new solutions for this problem. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace.